The Gospel of Jesus Christ. What for you, sir? Uh, what is it? The Gospel of Jesus Christ. I think I'm alright. Cheers, though. Appreciate it. None of us are alright. We've all sinned. It wasn't mine once, either. Yeah, I appreciate that. I was an atheist once upon a time. I appreciate that. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't class myself as an atheist. Yeah. It's a bold move to be an atheist. To say there is no God. I think it's a bold move to be an atheist. To be anything, really. Well, that's true. You know so little. It's safe to be an agnostic. Yeah, it is. Yeah, <laughs> until you die. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll take that risk. I think. I'll take it's that not risk. a risk. It's a certainty. It's a mm. certainty. I, I don't want to insult you. But I mean, no, no. I mean, I think that's what that's what uh, that's what the debate is about, isn't it? It's about it's about whether or not yeah, you can confirm your kind of afterlife in a way. Isn't absolutely, it? absolutely. Yeah, I would say that all reality confirms it, right? The Bible says in Psalm 19, it says the heavens declare the glory of God, the firmament shows His handiwork. Day unto day utters speech, night unto night reveals knowledge. There is no speech nor language where His voice is not heard. Everywhere you look, on the macro level, out to the cosmos, on the micro level, in a microscope, down to the minutest life form, you see the power of God and the wisdom of God. I mean, the reason that I'm not an atheist yeah. is because I, I think... I think there are things that we, we we don't understand and we can't completely explain. But right. I do think I do think science has a strong place in, in explaining. Oh, it. we're we're not anti-science as far as true it. science. We we just ultimately believe that Big Bang cosmology is faith rather than science, yeah. and that Darwinian evolution is more faith than science. For instance, uh, the uh, the uh, law of biogenesis: all life comes from life. That's a law that completely contradicts Darwinian evolution, a theory of evolution, or even uh, uh, the theory of information, still in the theory frame, but it says that there is no law of nature, process, or series of events by which matter produces information. All information leads to a mind. And so what we see in life, right, is immense information. So much information, we don't understand it. You know, we're just barely cracking the door on DNA, just barely, right? Um, I, I agree with that. Right, and so information comes from a mind. It, it, it doesn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't just happen. Yeah, I, I right? agree with that. And I think. I think it's. I, I. I also think personal experience is is different for each person because you're taking in this information personally, aren't well, you? It's like a, the, the Bible speaks to that. Proverbs twenty twelve says, "The hearing ear and the seeing eye, the Lord has made them both. He's given us our senses that we might behold His glory. Right, the glory of His power." There is no cosmos without infinite power. I mean, this is not an infinite cosmos, but it's a pretty big cosmos. So a whole lot of power is on display. But then beyond just the existence of the cosmos is life in it. And not just life, conscious life. You and I, right? We're the pinnacle of God's creation. We're created in His image, with intellect and will and an eternal soul. That's the most important part about being in His image. Because He is eternal, He's created us with an eternal nature. We, we have... We aren't eternal like God, that we've always existed, but we're eternal like God and that we always will exist. And the question is, will we exist as his enemies under his wrath, denying him and defying him, or as his friends, or even his children, he says, under his grace and under his mercy? Yeah, I mean, that's the, uh, that's the rhetoric which, I, which I've heard before. Yeah. I, was, I was just kind of interested. Not just rhetoric. Not just yeah, rhetoric. I, mean, no, I mean, rhetoric's maybe the wrong word. Rhetoric, I hear so, you. yeah, yeah. yeah. I was, message. What, what yeah. Message, that's yeah. a better word. That's a, better, it's a less, um, it's a less spiky word. Charged, yeah. yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Oh, we do. I mean, I think fundamentally, I I disagree with with some of the stuff that's being that's being said here. Yeah. But I, I really appreciate you having a an open and a friendly conversation because I feel like there's a lot of hostility. Well, and that's the moment. it's interesting. I wonder how much. What have you found? Have you found that's been quite a oh, there's hostility. The sure, like? sure, there's hostility. But what I find in general is that there's more congeniality really uh, here in England and in Scotland. That's what happens in the vacuum of faith, generally. Uh, Islam comes in, some other cult comes in. How do you guys feel about it? Yeah, kind of other, other world religions and things right. like that. How well, we love them, so? right? Yeah. Other world religions, though, here's what they have in common. Uh, Jesus spoke about the broad path uh, being a path of destruction. So I'm just checking my goal. That's fine. Up, yeah? That's fine. Yeah, all right. yeah. The broad path being a path of destruction, and many go thereby. The path of life being narrow, and a few shall find it, meaning himself ultimately in the gospel. And the distinction of, of biblical Christianity compared to the rest of the world's religions is it's a done religion, if you will, versus a do religion, right? It's not what do you mean by that? done, that Jesus Christ has finished the work. On the cross, his last three words were, it is finished. He bowed his head, gave up his spirit. He finished the payment for sin. 
right? That's the distinction. That's the boast of Christianity. Is that's that, interesting. I haven't heard that argument. I haven't heard that argument. Well, I mean, it's, it's the biblical argument ultimately. Is that, uh, in fact, in Romans 1, 16, it says, well, I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God to yeah. salvation uh, for the uh, for everyone who believes, for the Jew first and also the Greek. For in it, in the gospel, the righteousness of God is revealed from faith to faith. And that's what we're saved by, ultimately. Not by our good works, but Christ's perfect holiness being applied to us through faith, and Christ taking the wrath of God that our sins deserve on the cross. And so it's Christ's righteousness received by faith. The Bible uses the word impute, um, imputed, placed upon. So it's a double imputation, if you will. It's called the great exchange. He receives our sin. He pays the debt in full upon the cross. That Thus it is finished, what he said on the cross, God has had give up his spirit. And we receive his righteousness. So when God looks upon us, he doesn't see our sin. He sees the perfect righteousness of Christ. Where with the rest of the world's religions, they're all do religions, what you do. Um, even Christianity can be abused and turned into that, right? Yeah. Here are the Ten Commandments. Try harder, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but none of us are going to make it. Ultimately, the Ten Commandments reveal our sin. Yeah. Uh, they're they're going to condemn us. They're not going to save us. Yeah. Because even if we, from this very point, obeyed all ten, which we won't, right? Um, we still have will have broken them yeah. in days past. Oh, I see that. So if we've ever stolen anything, we're still a thief tomorrow, even though we stole it yesterday, right? Okay, yeah, no, it's I not removed. Yeah, if we've ever lied, we're still a liar tomorrow, even yeah. if we stop. Um, so we're, we're guilty before a holy God, and God is just, and He's holy. And like, for instance, if I kick you today, you're going to get mad, and you might walk off, you might hit me, you might call the police, right? Yeah. Um, but I'm, I'm just kicking another human being, another citizen, right? But if the queen comes by today, and I kick the queen, yeah. right? Yeah. They're probably going to shoot me. They're definitely yeah. going to throw me to the ground and yeah. cuff me and yeah, yeah, throw yeah. me in a That's police car. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And the difference is, um, not that she's more important ultimately, but it's her position, right? Uh, yeah. She she is the queen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. And so it, it's a, even though it's the same crime ultimately, a kick to another it's human a being, different, different level of authority, yeah. right? Brings a different consequence, different yeah. level. Um, yeah. So God, when we deny God, or worse, even use his name as a blasphemy, use his name as a curse word, which is yeah. the uh, third commandment, thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in, in vain. Yeah. Which before I was a Christian, you know, um, my mouth was foul yeah. and uh, plenty of curse words, but certainly God's name, even God's Son, Jesus Christ, yeah. which is pretty phenomenal testimony, right, that, of the evil of our hearts. That we would take the name of God and plug it in when we're really angry, when we're really ticked yeah. off. I can, when, see, I can see how if this is right, this is the thing. I can Th- see think how about it if you used your mom's right. name like that, yeah, right? Yeah, Every yeah, time you were exactly. really ticked off, you said, "Oh, Sally," right? If your mom's name was Sally, yeah, your yeah, mom's yeah. not gonna like that, right? I know. I fully get that. So I think. My girlfriend's calling me. Is it all right? Oh, right. Two yeah. sex. I'm not Absolutely. going anywhere. Absolutely. Oh, are you alright? Are you ready? Yeah, are you ready for the coffee? Alright, so I'm going to get coffee in two minutes. Alright. I'm just having a call now. I'll be in two minutes. Oh, lovely. Okay, we'll sort it out in a second. We'll sort it out in a second. I'll be there in two minutes, alright? Hi. I'm going to have to head off now. Yes. Listen, really yes. interesting talking to What's you. What's your name? Uh, my name's Tad. Tad? Tad. What's Chuck. your name? Chuck. Chuck. It's been really interesting talking to you, Chuck. And you I, uh, I appreciate the way that you've been, I don't know, you've been very polite and very respectful and I hope well, I've been... I hope all Christians are, <laughs> but I know... Yeah, well, it's, it's, it's nice to see and I think I think people get very hit up about this stuff and it's interesting seeing when I was just over there listening and, you know, some people walking past and getting very angry and it almost just feels like a shouting match. Yes. So I think that's just like... It's never going to get us anywhere, is it? So no. I, I really appreciate you being um, kind of my joy too. forward and everything like that. My, my and, uh, Did I give you one of these? Go on, give me one. Why not? Yeah, it's, Why not? It's just the scripture. Fantastic. And it's Jesus. That's a quote of Jesus. He said to Nicodemus and John, you must be born again or you'll not see the kingdom Fantastic. of heaven. Fantastic. I'll give it a read, bud. Yeah. Check it out. Thank God you bless much. you, Chad. Take Good to meet you. Yeah, I want to see you in heaven. Look yeah. to Christ. Yeah, yeah. Look to Christ. Yeah. Gospel of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Is you? Gospel of Jesus Christ, sir. God bless. Gospel of Jesus Christ, man. Gospel of Jesus Christ, man. You have a good day. Gospel of Jesus Christ. You have a good day. I am the chief. I'm with the Apostle Paul. Gospel of Jesus Christ, man. You have a good day.